Well, the Tempest weather station says it's 33 degrees. It's the today. It's the warmest it's been all summer here. Um, I got up early this morning, like got up at four o'clock and got out here, started doing chores and had to do some work on the sawmill. So physical work I got done early. I was done everything by noon, but by 10 o'clock it was already 30 degrees. But we're still in extreme fire behavior. Um, high winds again today and um, 33 humidity is probably around 28 or something so that's a crossover a crossover means extreme extreme fire behavior when the humidity is lower than the than the temperature the air temperature my other chore this morning was moving the sheep you can see the definite line here where they had bin and where I just moved them in this morning and it goes all the way kind of to the back there about another hundred yards I had started them down there about a week ago and I've been moving them up the previous owners had owners had this old disc in at one point and had it in oats it had grown back into great into grass but it's been sitting empty for seven years so it's seven years of fuel load grass and willows and everything growing in and then accumulating on top of each other year after year and I know Rob says don't get sheep or don't get animals right away before you develop have all your system set up this year I'm glad we did get a little handful of sheep just to keep up with the grazing and the mitigating the, the fuel load just around the just around the house um, this is the second time I brought him in here this, this summer already, even with the dry season, we've only had 65 mils this year. And even with the dry season, it's recovered since they've grazed it already. So just keeping on it and keeping that grass down, making sure there's no uh, spring hazard next year, immediate in the yard. I just finished an entra fire entrapment course. Um, that's what you do if you get entrapped in a wildfire. And they had a video there of some guys that were, they got cut off and they had retreated back to a well site that was their safety zone. And they waited for the burnover to happen around them. And well sites are roughly a hectare, I believe. So I think that's a good safe number to, to have nice and clear and cleaned up around the yard. Got a bit more work to do, lots of, lots of debris here to get chipped in amongst here. I had, I had built a jig where I hand bomb all the branches in there and then take it over to the boiler shed and we chip it in for uh, for heat for the winter. But this will all be cleaned up. We're working our way. You see the propane tank there. That's the house over in the trees there. Working our way out. Quite smoky today. But yeah, that back to that hectare. I think establishing that hectare, if you drew a circle on your Google Map app and uh, put it out the house and anything in that circle is in amongst that hectare and then from there on you can that's the immediate area you'd want to concentrate on and then work out from there doing fuel load this is it'll be progress for us when we first moved in here the hay in this middle pen was uh, taller than me. I couldn't see my wife walking in there when she went over to the, the old chicken coop to check it out. She just disappeared. But now it's all munched down and the fine fuel is taken care of. Getting that hectare established is, is pretty important. I don't know why I have the dump trailer up this year. There's no chance of it resting out with the lack of rain. A little bit of humor there during a the drought. I have 17 baskets of firewood and they're all stacked over here at the moment. And that's where I'm going to put the sheep next. They've already grazed around those firewood baskets once, but uh, that's their next move. Two, every two to three days I move them, depending on uh, how much they munch down. But the idea of the basket is, is I stack it once in the basket and then I can move it over here with the skid steer. Then come come winter, I just take it over to the 
over to the house, set it on the deck as we need as we need uh, firewood for the winter. But the other reason why it's there is I don't have wood piled in the immediate area. It's not within that hectare of the house at the moment. It doesn't need to be there. We don't need heat. I don't have a woodshed. I just moved the baskets up as needed. If it's going to be 40 below for a couple weeks, I set two or three or even four baskets on the deck. In one, in one load. If I'm going to plow the road, put the forks on when the machine's warm and set a couple more up. The basket roughly lasts me roughly a week, week and a half, depending on the temps. Yeah, I'd like to share that with you. That kind of that idea about a hectare and extreme fire behavior seems to be size of a well site around the house seems to be a, a good buffer and then from there work out from there and um, mitigate as much fine fuel as you can. In my case it's grass and I'm that glad we did get animals before we had a lot of things established. I know it's a lot more work moving and moving fences and sometimes hauling water. Sometimes we can get the garden hose to them to the fences and and uh, water's completely up but at the same aspect, I either spend the time clearing brush, mowing grass, or I spend the time moving the animal, in my case here. And we still get a few steaks out of the deal, and some fiber. Well everybody, I hope you have a good summer, or having a good summer. It's great to see everybody at the camp out. I wanted to share that uh, insight with you about that Hector around the yard. We'll be off the mountain soon. And I gotta just pray and hope that a fire doesn't come while I'm gone. Take care everyone. Bye for now.